going to bring in Ray Stevens, award-winning Chicago radio host. You know, I want to come right off of what Marianne said there. It was Lori Lightfoot, what she was saying to the New Yorker, I'm a black woman, let's not forget certain folks, frankly, don't support us in leadership roles. You know, Ray, based on the polls, I mean, what's going on here? Do you think she has any chance of, of holding office? Personally, I don't. Uh, I have been wrong before, as polls have in the past. But I think what you have to look at is the last election cycle, she beat a name like Daly. She uh, was in a runoff with Tony Preckwinkle. Obviously, both women, um, both women of, of race. I, I don't know that that matters. I think the issues you just talked about is what it will come down to. Chicago has a rampant crime problem. And not only is it in Chicago, but it's now reached the collar counties, and that's problematic. Um, Crime, crime, crime is going to be the issue in this election. And personally, from what I'm hearing from my constituents, from listeners, is that it will come down to Vallis, Brendan Johnson, Paul Vallis. Uh, uh, he's run big school districts in Philadelphia, New Orleans, Chicago. Um, and, and then Brendan Johnson has the backing of the Chicago Teachers Union. Um, he's the Cook County Commissioner. I think those are your two guys. Um, there may be a surprise, but I think the rhetoric we just talked about, what you just talked about, is what will hurt Lori Lightfoot. Crime, and she just doesn't come across as somebody that cares uh, about people. I'm sure she's a nice lady. She's got a wonderful family here in town, but it just doesn't resonate. And you can't, all you really have to do is show the picture, show the statistics you just showed. Chicago's a great American city, but it's, it's in trouble right now. I think that's what gets her in the long run. I think it's Vallis, and I think it's uh, Brendan Johnson. When in doubt, Lightfoot plays the race card. She's done this before. Mm -hmm. She'll do it again, and she's doing it here. You heard in Marianne's piece the reference to playing the race card. Will that have any impact in a city where, quite frankly, her policies on crime specifically have hurt people of every single race? You know, Todd, here's, here's, what, here's what the national news kind of misses about Chicago. What we see is... We see the crime numbers. You can't discount that. It's there. And, and you, see the, you see the same visceral uh, speak all the time, over and over again. There are people in this town that are, in, uh, that are ready to be leaders. I mean, really, if you look down the line of these, of these uh, people that are running for mayor, there's a guy named Willie Wilson. He's a philanthropic man. He's a very good man, African-American. Chicago is a, is a Latino and very diverse African-American community. Personally, I don't think it comes down to race. There are people living in these communities that just want to be safe when they go outside. It's going to come down to safety and crime. Then it's going to come down to taxes. And then it comes down, or maybe, then it comes down to schools and then taxes. Our schools are failing. Our taxes are too much money. That's what it comes down to. I think we play race in everything. Chicago's a very diverse town. Um, there are leadership, uh, you know, most of the leadership positions, as far as aldermen are concerned and county commissioners, Mostly everybody's of color. So I don't know why we always have to play the race card. It is a diverse city. It's a great city. Um, you know, it just needs help. And, and I think that I think Lori's time is up. Ray, I, I got to squeeze one more question here. You were talking about Vallis having the, the best chance of winning, but he caught himself in a little bit of hot water when he was talking about DeSantis being in town, when he was talking to police officers saying, hey, come to Florida. So with him saying that and, and kind of attacking DeSantis, do you still think he has the best chance of cleaning up crime in Chicago? Yeah, I think so. Um, and, 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 and again, you know, we've, we've, after 2016, I don't even know why we do polls anymore. But <laughs> right. he, he's, supposed to, he, he's leading in the polls. Um, he has also had, aside from the, the DeSantis thing, and I, I don't know why, you know, I don't know why, the, the, you know, this doesn't matter, but Governor Pritzker, uh, you know, taking it to Ron DeSantis, it doesn't make sense. The guy does everything right, but that's another story. Um, I think that there there was a misstep there. But the, another controversy he has is someone in his Twitter camp. Somebody is liking tweets out there that, uh, let's say, are a little below board, and he doesn't know where that's coming from. So what this is is it looks like there's a little Chicago politics thrown in here. They want to muddy the waters with a guy like Ron DeSantis. And this late in the game, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think the biggest issue we have to worry about in Chicago tomorrow is, is it going to snow? Is it going to rain? And then uh, when all is said and done, now they're talking about election results that aren't going to we're already we've already been conditioned to say, oh, wait a second. The election results are going to take days and days and days. So stand by for this. But I bet you if we talk next week, the three of us will be talking about Dallas and Brandon Johnson.
Well, if that's what you say, we're going to look out for it. Of course, we'll be reporting on it. It'll be interesting to see what happens in Chicago. Ray Stevens, thank you so much for your take Thanks, on this Ray. this morning. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.